So it looked like a lot of the horses struggled with getting onto the trailer, and it looked really scary. scary. Yeah. A lot of horses stopped, they paused, some horses didn't go in, some horses went in and freaked out. How did the trailering go? It was really good. Um, I could tell after we did the trot line and we backed up and picked up feet, I could tell going to the trailer that uh, when I started to line her up, I could feel her start to fall behind me a little. Um, at the shoulder, she started to rock back a little, and I just told her, I said, hey, I want to put you in a position I knew you weren't capable of, and she stepped up, walked right in, stood in there calmly, didn't move around, and then backed up when I asked her to after a few seconds, and it was, it was, it exceeded my expectations, so I was Good very job. happy with it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so you're gonna be doing the obstacles and your, your trail class, and we're starting out with, I think you said it's like trotting a serpentine. Yep. Tell me a little bit about that, and like what does that teach your horse? The, the trot, trotting the serpentine is gonna be interesting because it's directly from the starting line into the trot. So you won't have time to walk your horse into the arena or anything. It's like, go into your trot, serpentine around a few cones, um, essentially, this teaches your horse to stay in connection with you in a quicker movement than a walk. It's a little bit easier for your horse to stay with you at a walk, but once you trot, it adds another element of difficulty, especially when it's twisting around something like a scary orange cone. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, it just helps being able to have your horse more at your shoulder, staying with you, being able to go right from a standstill into the arena at a trot around your cones. So tell me about the bridge. I know there's a bridge obstacle that you took her over. What does that look like? What does that teach your horse? Why teach your horse to go over a bridge obstacle? Well, as you know, as horse owners, bridges are something we can encounter in day-to-day -day life. So whether your horse is loading in a trailer, whether they're walking on concrete, whether they're changing from dirt to grass, there's a different texture and, mm. and a different level of ground, and we all know anything can set horses off. Right. Um, a bridge is often a great element of really being able to test your horsemanship and your horse's courage, because how does a horse know if that bridge is not gonna fall through, or if it's not gonna break, or creak, or something isn't gonna happen? So it's, it's an obstacle that is really an obstacle for horses. They don't know if they're gonna fall into it, or fall off, or fall over they're just having to trust their handlers that we aren't gonna put them through or on or over anything that's going to harm them. So I think a bridge is a factor where you get to completely see if a horse is one-on-one is -on -one with a handler uh, because it's, it's definitely something that tests them. It's loud. Uh, it's a different right. color. It's sometimes I think this one's wood, so it's okay. It can be pretty um, different. You're stepping up noisy. on something. Yeah. Sure. For sure, made out of wood, so it does that. Um, but yeah, that's just something like working bridges helps you teach a horse how to load because it mm. changes, you know, the ground and everything. So I think it's a really good way to get horses to just have great manners and um, confidence in their handlers for sure. So you also had to pick up a rain slicker, which is wavy and makes noise and, and do something with that. Tell me, like, what was that about and how does that prepare your horse? Yeah, so a rain slicker is like a mini tarp. <laughs> and we know tarps eat horses, right? So this one's, um, if, I, if I remember, it's a bright yellow one and it's gonna be sitting on a barrel and the barrels are set up um, where you can do a figure eight around them. So we're going to be walking a figure eight around our barrels with the slicker placed on our horse. Um, and essentially we're looking for our horses to not throw up their head, not run off to you carrying something over onto them. Um, and to be able to not only put it on, but able to walk a few feet around something and take it back off and set it on a barrel. Um, that way you can really test if your horse is going to stick with you or leave you. So it's a really good way to desensitize and just see if your horse is once again trusting you or afraid of a slicker. Okay, awesome. Very cool.